tensions. Tensions are people's nemesis when it comes to sergers. Now we're working with the Singer Elite SE017, but everything I'm gonna talk about regarding tensions is something that you can do on any serger. So first off, you do need to start by using quality serger thread. If you're using some inexpensive thread or some old, old thread that was gifted to you, you might find by looking at the thread itself that it's maybe a little fuzzy or it's kind of thick and thin and thick and thin. Well, if you were a thick and thin thread going through tensions, what's gonna happen? It's gotta open and close, open and close every time kind of a large or a smaller area goes through and that can actually lead to just totally not fun. That means that even though you start adjusting tensions, is it really making any difference? So quality serger thread, we've got links below to some of my favorites. Treat yourself, you don't need a ton of threads. You need white, you need some neutral colors like a gray and then you need some darks and the only thing that's going to show is whatever's in that outside needle that's the one that when you open it up that's the color you need since it's a needle you don't need a ton of thread you could even use a small spool that matches and the rest could be something else as you're getting started you are seeing that for me i always put in the color of the tension dials so you can start to learn which thread is doing which because if all four of these were white it's really hard to tell. Oh yeah, it's that tension or that tension to do. Here's the other thing. If the stitch is not looking great, do double check that every guide that is in the serger is threaded through. So make sure it's not wrapped around, double back the wrong way, or that you've missed a guide because those guides are there for a reason. If you miss one, it's because it needs to be threaded and it will give you a weird look. And all you have to do is usually just re-thread the serger and it will solve the issues. Make sure you get some new needles in. Make sure the left needle is higher than the right needle. That can also make a difference. So let's start off with just, if your threads were all the same weight, you will find that most of your tension are going to be somewhere around all the number of four or all the number of three. Somewhere in there was kind of my happy medium when I opened up this serger. So what we do want is that as you look at your overlock stitches, the loopers, so those are the pink and yellow on this serger here. The pink goes back and forth this way. The yellow goes back and forth on the back. First, those two need to kind of link right along the edge. Let's say everything is looking good, but for some reason, the yellow is a little bit more on the top. The pink has either pulled it to a little bit over, or the yellow is so loose that it has rolled towards it. So with that, if you think of how a scale is, you can actually tighten the yellow, and I'll pull it back, or you can loosen the pink. So you can always adjust the scale by doing something to each side. We can take some off, or we can add some on. So just depending on which way it needs to go. The main thing is that when you look at your straight stitches on the front, so now we're talking about the needles, they will look like straight stitches. The proof is always in the back. So every time I start a serger class and we get everybody threaded, they serge it off and then I come around and go like this, because what I need to see is what's on the back. And here is what we're looking for. On the back side, I need to see a straight line of the lower looper thread. So in this case, it's yellow. I know it's a little hard to see, but it's a straight line. You also see a little tick mark of the green uh, and the blue. So that is actually creating that straight stitch. Without that straight stitch, you get, and you open it up, you get like a really big showing of thread. Like I always say that it's like smiling at us and that's not a good thing. Um, but that is what we're looking for, a straight line on the back. So if these are instead loops, then what we're gonna do is instead is to tighten up the needle tension. So you can go ahead and tighten them up a number on each one, especially if they have some loops showing, that can increase it and make them kind of pull a little tighter. But try not to go too far off the default numbers that can start to kind of be a little crazy. Now, we are gonna work with some decorative threads. I do love decorative threads in some of my projects. So if you are using a decorative thread, it's much chunkier often. And so with that, we are putting them in either loopers. Sometimes it's just one looper, sometimes it's both, depending on the look that you're after. 
So if you were a chunkier thread going through this tension, you're gonna need a little bit more breathing room. So we're gonna call that a looser tension. So you're gonna need to open that up, kind of let it, <gasps> and then that way it will have a little room. This will also might need to be adjusted to kind of help tighten it up. Um, after, just because if it's a single regular thread back here and being balanced with a heavier one, so now our balance is like this, we're gonna have to adjust that quite a bit. So just note that, just give it some breathing room to start with, then tighten this as you need to get the balance. You're gonna need to test it out, so see every fabric is a little different and you can definitely just work with which way it's going. One's gonna make it worse, so if you're unsure, you, you've made it worse and go the other way and it'll make it better. So that's just kind of a couple rundowns for tensions, but I will tell you most of the time, you don't have to adjust tension. You just need to make sure the machine is threaded, cleaned, oiled. We have a video on that. And then also too, if it's been a while since you've had your machine serviced, like we'd say once a year is best. So an annual service at your local uh, serger, sewing machine technician is, is great because that's gonna keep this machine running in top condition. They get in and clean and oil and adjust everything. So if things are just really not working, it's just time for probably a good old, kind of like getting your oil changed in your car. You'll find that it will make a difference and your surgery's gonna last longer. Okay, keep trying, don't worry about it. If these numbers get turned because you have little fingers that come and visit and play in your sewing room, all you have to do is just turn them all back to normal. That is nothing to uh, scold them about. Just put them back to the start and start again.